I just kept going. <laughs> but then I told my colleague to be able to clean it up. He was fine with it. Went away. Good stuff. Sit. And then we went back the next day and he did the same thing. So that's it. After that. Hey guys, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana here, and so you would have just seen a clip of a, a guy who works for MPI, does like surveillance um, at airports with his working dog. And this is because of a biosecurity paper that I'm doing. And the paper is not necessarily sitting too comfortably with me. Um, but let's be honest, I'm sick of seeing dead animals on the slides. And the lecturer was going to show a picture of an animal being killed in a trap. And thank God that didn't work. But with this this clip, um, I wanted to show it to you and just sort of get a discussion going because um, so basically the dog's job is to sniff out food when it comes through the airport. Um, for any of you that, are, that don't know, New Zealand's very strict on what things you can bring into the country um, because otherwise it could bring diseases that could affect like our forestry industry, animal agriculture, crop growing for seeds, vegetables, we grow lots of apples. So if that gets affected then apparently our economy is just going to fall apart. So I have these dogs um, at airports to sniff out when people bring in food and I also understand there's other areas that we use animals um, for things like, you know, say someone has a hearing impairment or can't see very well or they may not have like full use of their their limbs and I know animals quite often dogs as well are used for things like that and I I guess I just don't really know where I stand on that for things like that because like I have I've posted questions about this on um, local or you know nationwide vegan groups here in New Zealand, just sort of getting people's um, understanding on it and where they stand and just trying to, you know, form sort of maybe my own argument myself and, you know, I just wanted to see what are your thoughts on it as well, you know. I know veganism may seem like a very, you know, exclusive lifestyle or philosophy, but really in, at the end of the day we want it to be as inclusive as possible and I guess you know with the surveillance and working dogs airports they probably could be definitely replaced with um, something else where they're not they're not using animals um, but how do we you know what do we do about um, animals that help human beings with their day-to-day -day life how do you stand on that topic and um, let me know what your thoughts are um, leave them in the comments down below and yeah I hope you've done something that makes you happy today see ya